Hello everybody, this is Carol from Friendly Quail. Today, I hope you'll join me while I use my master boards to make tags and, and journals. Now, this is actually a scan that I made and it ended up that my page was a little bigger. So, the give me the circus part isn't on here. Um, but I put this here to remind you what the thing looked like for because this one I've already cut up and done and then I'm going to show you the other one and we're going to decorate. So what I did is I cut it across this way and then I cut this into three pieces and then I cut this into four pieces. And I've decorated them. I stitched around with uh, with red thread and this is um, a stamp a circus stamp I did add this little music paper on this one and I've got ribbon and rickrack I this is fabric that I just frayed around the edges so that's one that I made and that one I had it was this direction and I changed it to that direction um, this one here I added this ruffle stitched around in red and then just added this little clown um, piece on it this one I decided to keep the the horse and it says performing horse here so I just put a piece of ribbon here and I put a just a circle of some people on horses you know doing the circus on horse um, this one here I just I put a little ribbon on here and then I, this is a fussy cut of my of something that I I did the um, one of the digitals that I had purchased on Etsy and then I have uh, an eyelid in here and just some some yarn that seemed to go with it for a tag topper this one here I added some of this this uh, lace that's kind of like gathered up almost like what clowns have around their their neck sometimes this is one of the digitals just put it on there put that around put a couple of tags on and then i put the topper on i used two tickets and it is stitched around in red as well all right and in this one um just put a digit on here in a little circle stitched around in red and have some yarn on here and the last one that I made with this I had cut this out and these were like all pieces I don't even know where I got this it was on one of my things and I just have this guy kind of balancing on a ball and I used a um, vintage yo-yo as a tag topper and it is also stitched around in red so this is the other one and this is a scan and again it I lost part of my edge there I didn't realize it that it was an extra half inch too big so I wanted to remind you what that one looked like and I've I have already cut it apart and I did the same thing these are the three across the top and then I have four tags and to save time I planned some things out ahead of time but I'm going to decorate them right now um, I did cut this one down it was bigger it was you know taller and I, because it was more narrow because I made this one wider um, I decided to cut part of that off so this one is a little shorter and so now I'm going to um, decorate these so sometimes I try to use what's on it like I use the horse um, for uh, the performing horse one 
and other times I just put it on you know whatever whatever way so um, I'm gonna push these out of the way I'll start with this one this one I decided to put it like this and I cut this out of a birthday thing and I did some thread onto the balloons because where they were on the thing it didn't work and I'm going to uh, glue this on and just have these here um don't know yet if I'll put a little you know something else on there but this is what I'm starting with so I'm gonna do this guy I have my threads really long right now. I just refilled my glue bottle and it's coming out like, whoa. Nothing black on this one. I washed it all up and re refilled it. That's almost too much glue. take some of this and put it on here I think I will cut these threads off Kind of in the way. Now I will, I will also stitch. Oops. Oh, kind of got that sideways, but that's okay. It'll work. That's a lot of glue. What I try to do is to use different types of things on on these so that they don't all look alike even though the backgrounds are alike so I get a lot of different uh, looking things okay now this one I decided I found this in in a child's um, you know one of those definition things a clown tries to make people laugh there are clowns in the circus and I kind of cut out around it and I'm going to put that on there. Ooh. Spread this more. By the way, I was right not to trust the glue stick because as I was cutting these out, I was getting all kinds of edges lifting up and I don't know maybe I need I either need to try a different one or or something because it that one just doesn't work and this was the word that was with it so I'm just gonna put that here I will be stitching around these as well so that's that one 
Now this one, this is like a circus, kind of an old, you know, like fair from long ago in England or something like that. And um, I wanted to keep a, a lot of that on there. So I made myself like a little a little snippet collage with some um some of from the digitals that I have and I cut that one out and this is the stamp and I'm just going to put that on there. And I did glue that together. Um so that I could have it ready and save time and that way I know what would fit so, let's see here there so now you can still see that but that works of course, like I said, I will sew around here. This one here, um, I'm going to put this guy on, the big top guy. And um, that, that'll that be, uh, I might, I, I haven't decided what kind of topper to put on or anything. But I just wanted to show you how by putting different things on, you end up having quite a lot of different types of journal cards. And I also have done all of the uh, distressing. Okay. I'm going to get this one. This one I'm going to put this little guy on. And then I'm going to put a side tuck with the tickets or a little notch because I have some side types of pockets. So it can go in one of those. I'm going to get this glue. So I fussy cut all these yesterday. And distressed everything. yesterday uh, afternoon my husband and I went to see some plays it's there was a 10 minute play festival where people enter their their 10 minute plays and they whittle it down to it was eight plus one that was done by a high schooler and um and then they produced the uh, the eight plays they did and then they had um uh, um they they had they announced a, a runner up and the winner of the festival and it's it's a small theater group, but they have it and they have put it on in a small in a small um, uh, venue in a big venue, <laughs> but the small the small one. I gotta make sure did I put that on the right direction. Pick it up and I will line 
this up. This one, instead of paper, I put a cardstock on and it's a little better. Uh, the other ones I thought were a little bit wimpy. And I just put paper on because I did do my collage on a book page. Um, okay, now this one I really fussy cut some little tiny things. I liked this and I wanted to keep it. And those are like a clown. So I had something that this apparently was a, a set that you could cut out and they had tabs so you could stand them up and stuff like that. But it, it was really tiny, just a picture of it basically. And um, so it, it took me a while. Um, I'm going to put him on here. And then I cut this little dog out. And he's going to ride on that little cart. And then I have this little bear. And he's sitting. And he's going to sit. So this one I'm letting more of this show. I'm just kind of enhancing it with the with the little thing. Okay. And one more. This little shorter one. And I wanted to keep this. Um I'm going to put like a poster and then I have this this guy with a little boy on his shoulders and I'm going to put it like this like they're showing me that and then for the topper I've got two circles that I'm going to put back to back up here okay so let's see so first so I also finished a little tiny fairy journal over the weekend that I'm, I made to give to my sister for her birthday. And I'm going to um, do a flip through and show it. That'll be another video that'll come out. I'm trying to get some stuff done because I know with leaving for Wisconsin. And now it's two weeks from today we're leaving. I have to get this done so I can plan what I'm going to be doing. And figure out where this is going to go. About halfway on, I think.
and put this one on the back. And now all I have a piece of it, you know, although it took me a while to cut everything out. This is a pretty fast way to to get a lot of tag backs done and then you just decorate them. glue on my fingers some across there because I got a little glue on there and it took some of the picture off but that's it so this became this and I have lots of I will I will stitch them and um, they'll be ready to go so of the two boards I Of these tags so I'll be finishing up the circus journal um, depending on what I'm doing whether I will uh, do a um, any any videos or not I'm not sure but you will see the flip through coming up soon and I'm glad you're with me today Hopefully you'll try masterboards and be able to use, you know, get yourself quite a few quickly. And I have other tags and things, so not every tag is going to have this background. But look how, you know, they, they look quite a bit different. And adding the color, the color things on top really makes it look good. So um, anyway, I will see you in the next video. Thanks for being here. This is Carol from Friendly Quail saying bye.